Hey, what's going on guys? Zephyr here and welcome back to the Let's Create Prison series. In today's episode, episode 8 by the way, uh, we're going to be working on a couple different things. Um, first thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is I added some more function packs, which is basically a compressed file um, with a bunch of different command block commands in them to uh, fill up some of these uh, different NPCs with their items so that you can grab stuff from them. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that real quick. So we got the rebirth guy here. When you click on him, you just get this here where you can come up and rebirth. I might change some of these later, but this is what I've got right now. And actually, you know what? Let me show you when I grab this. It does go ahead and replace it. And that's what I've got down here is this one. No, that's to keep it there. This one is just a function. Um, just showing you the command there. Not really important, I guess, but yeah so we got that um, this one for the tool shop this is just a repeating uh, clone that'll clone the chest that's down here up to here for the different tools this is just a layout that I've started um, I'll probably change it once I work on this a little bit more but that's just a little layout that I was thinking about doing and then let's go ahead jump over here and this is the layout that I've got for the different warps so we've got here the three mines that will be public for everyone to join. And then there will be the prestige mines once you get to a certain prestige. There will be the PvP teleport and then the personal mine, which you can buy the mine here. And you can also teleport to your mine from that point. I'll jump over here to this is where the kits will be. Uh, I still need to update that, but that's the same thing as the chest over there. This will be cloning this chest up into this spot. So when I grab something, it will be replaced. Go ahead and remove those real quick. And then I also added this one, which is just the rank up and prestige. So you can come here, do your rank up, and then you can prestige one time, 10 times, or 100 times. Um, I haven't worked out the prices for the prestige yet, but what I want to work on is the rank up for today. So let me go ahead and jump into that, and I will be right back with you guys. All right, and welcome back, you guys. Um, so I've been working on this a little bit. Uh, this looks like a a lot of command blocks, and this is only for one person. I'm going to have to copy this and then paste it and change a couple things for each player. But this is for ranking up through every single rank. Um, it does look like a lot, but it's a lot of repeating. Um, it's it's The commands are the same three commands over and over again but it is for the different ranks from A through Z. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what or how this works. Um, so what we got here is the ID system. If you guys didn't see this before, it's probably one of my earlier videos. It's probably between LCP 3 and LCP 5 um, where I made this. I don't know where I put it. Um, where I put it right here. This is the ID system. That allows you to specify between players and it creates an ID for them so that you can use that in command blocks to allow players to do things individually without it being location or closest to an entity based. So what we got here is this is for player one. This is constantly testing for the person who is an ID of one. If they are online, it turns on this command block line and I'll have to copy this over for all 11 players because if you guys didn't know, there's, even though realms max out at 10 players, they can technically have 11 because the owner of the realms do not count as a player for the counter. But uh, yeah, so we've got the first person here and I'll show you guys that in just a second. But what we got here is this is a clearing the person with an ID of one and then the name of the item. This is a custom item if you guys didn't know, the rank up. So if I just go ahead and give myself I'll just show you it so that it doesn't do anything. But if you look above the command there on the left side, bottom left, it says it shows the I or the picture and then the item. And then what this does is this is unconditional, so that when this this command block line is activated, it'll still activate this one without a previous one having to be uh, true. So unconditional will clear the person of that rank up item, and then on a conditional. If it is true, then it will set the player's score with a, who has an ID of 1 to rank up 1. Now the rank up 1 is what jumps up to here. So this is testing for 
a player with a rank up ID of one and or rank up number one and an ID of one. So this is for player one and if they are doing the rank up sequence. Now if this is true, I got a comparator and a repeater which will activate this line only once with an impulse because um, it doesn't need to do it any more than that. And then it'll do like these three commands and then these three commands. It's just these three same ones over and over again, but slightly different. So I'll go ahead and show you that. So this here is removing the closest player who has a score of mine rank, which is A, mine rank of one. And if they have enough money, which is one or more, that's what the dot dot is. And then if they are ID one, so player one. So if they are rank A and they have one dollar or more and they are player one, then it will remove that one dollar. And then this one, the next one after that, if the previous one was true, then it will set them to rank B. And then the third one tells them, the third one tells them you have you have ranked up to rank B, next rank costs, and then the next rank, which is three. And I'll show you that here also. So this one, this is for the next rank. So if they are mine rank two, which is right here, they are mine rank two, which is B. And if they have three dollars or more and they're player one, then it will remove three dollars from the money scoreboard. Then they will set them to C, which is rank three, and then it will tell them in chat that you have ranked up to rank C. Next rank it costs five dollars. And it goes like that all the way down the line. And at the very end here at Z, or right after Z, so this is Z here. So this one is if they are mine rank 25, which is Y, if they have five thousand dollars or more and an ID of one, then it will remove five thousand dollars. And then it will set them to mine Z, which is 26. Tell them that you have ranked up to rank Z, you may now prestige. And that's where I'll work on the prestige thing later. But then at the very end, it sets their rank up score back to zero so that if they don't rank all the way up to Z, then they can come back and grab that rank up to do it again. And so I actually calculated it out with the all the values added together. To get to rank Z, it is going to cost you $31,614. So... $31,614 to go from A to Z. So that's what that's going to cost you. So if I go ahead and do scoreboard player set my name money and then we'll do 31,600 and I'll do 615 so that I should have $1 left over. And now if I come over here, I'll give myself the uh, the rank up item. And then down there, it'll clear it, set me to rank up one, and you should see this activate, and you should see a lot of chat, or a lot of text pop up in the chat. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's do slash give my name, rank up, or LCP rank up. If I do that, now you can see we have going to, you have ranked up from B, ranked up to B, and then the cost for the next one, ranked up to C, and then the next cost. And all the way down, it tells you how much the next cost or the next rank is going to be. And now you can see on my money on the right side, I have one dollar left, and my rank is Z. So that uh, is pretty simple. It's just a lot of repeating over and over again. So it's like these three back and forth there, just like that. And then you just copy and paste them and you change it ever so slightly all the way down. So I'm going to need to work on that later to get it filled out for all 11 players and then I'll have to do this for all of the other 10 to make it 11 players. Now what I want to show you guys here also that I've been working on, I've been working on it with a helper a friend of mine, Dynamic Zed. Uh, you can see him in the Discord. He's been helping me out a little bit. He helped me out with the island generator thing because for whatever reason it is a little tough to get that going. So what I, what we did is he had one previously uh, made and then we configured it to uh, work on this world specifically. Uh, it does use a function pack so I'm not going to go ahead and or I'm not going to show you guys that without his permission maybe next video but uh, yeah so what we got here is this is just clearing them of the personal mine the personal mine item which is right here the LCP P mine 
and then if they have a score of personal mind zero, which is right here, that is means that they don't have their own personal mind. And if they are player one, then it will start these next couple here. And then what it will do, and then it will, if they have money of 10 or more, and that's ID player one, then it will remove $10 from them. And then it will set their personal mind score to one, meaning they now own a personal mind. And then this one will generate the function that will create their island. And then these other two are for after you already have bought one, then it will jump to here instead. If they have a per score of personal mind one, that means they already have a, uh, a P mine or personal mine. Then it will clear them of the item. And then here it will TP them to these coordinates, which is just a little bedrock uh, spot underneath spawn with a end portal. It will teleport them to the end portal. Which they go into the end, there is a repeating command block that replaces a end portals right where you spawn to teleport you back into the overworld, which will bring you to your spawn point, which is set at your personal mine upon generating your personal mine. But uh, yeah, and another thing I wanted to go ahead and show you guys is I've worked on the mine a little bit. I've cleared it out. I need to uh, change the structure file that we are using to get this mine um, generated for the different players when you create your own personal mine. I've just emptied it out for the structure when we redo that. But um, yeah, so I moved the staircases back a little bit, add this little portal looking thing so you guys just walk right into this. That'll teleport you back to spawn. And then I changed these out. These used to be uh, iron bars here. They used to be iron bars instead of the glass panes. I just changed it out to glass panes so you guys can see in there a little bit more. Here's the empty um, farms there. And then we've also got the tree farm. And then we've got the fishing sector. And then another thing I, I worked on too while I was gone here. I uh, added the other mines. Um, because previously I had just created the mines for A through Z. I hadn't made the prestige mines yet. So let's fly over here. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. I added it into the function pack too. So that I can just generate these whenever. So we previously had all these mines up until Z here. And then we add, I added these other four mines. So this one here is when you get to prestige 3. You'll be able to buy this mine. And then Prestige 10, you'll be able to buy this, the Obsidian Mine. Then Prestige 50, you get Crying Obsidian. And for Prestige 250, you'll be able to get the Glowing Obsidian Mine. Um, yeah, and I added those, like I said, I added those to the function pack. So those are all ready to be, or all good to go. I used, or made sure that they work all good. And I'll show you over here. Um... Yeah, so this is just the testing to make sure that it uh, it is all pasted correctly. And this is just all the way through this. And here's the bottom. You can see under here we got the glowing obsidian. All right, now what I want to go ahead and do is in a previous episode, we added this contraption here, which is to add money to the player when they break a block and then delete that item. Um, I just did it for the all the ores that are in mines A through Z. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add them in for the prestige mines, for the netherrack, obsidian, crying obsidian, and the glowing obsidian. And once I get done with that, I will be back with you guys. All right, and here we go. So I just finished working up on these. This is for the these different items I got here, netherrack, obsidian, crying obsidian, and glowing obsidian. Now I've got 10 of each just to show you guys that this does work. I'm going to drop these. Each one of these sells for $2. This one sells for 5 This one is for 10 and this one is for 25 And so when I drop 10 of these, I should have 20 bucks. And then this one should give me 50 bucks. These ones should give me 100 bucks, And this one should give me 250 bucks. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm just going to spam those out just to show you guys. As you can see in the top right corner there. I now have $20 and I am out of the netherrack. Now let's reset me and now let's do obsidian. So I should have 50 after this. So go ahead and drop all those. Yep, now I got 50. Reset my money. Got 10 crying obsidian. Let's drop those. Now I'm at 100 bucks. 
and I got 10 glowing obsidian and so when I go ahead and drop those I should have 250 bucks as you can see right there so now that's all set up so the prices for the mine items is good I'm gonna have to eventually work on the items for the tree farm and the crop farm and I'm not still not sure if I want to keep the fishing sector that might turn into mobs where you can jump in there kill some mobs sell their different items um, I'm not sure we'll we'll see how that goes and you know what let's go ahead and give myself some of that stuff back real quick that's not what I wanted let's go ahead and give me 10 of these real quick just set me back to 250 and now I'm gonna run to spawn go ahead and show you guys that the rank up system that I previously showed you does indeed work now let's run over here to the prestige and rank up guy now let's just go ahead and grab this and now you can see I have $36 left because the next mine cost me 125 but now I have ranked up to rank K and if I go ahead and give me 10 more of these drop all these I have $286 go ahead and grab this again ranked up to L the next one is 170 five dollars let's just go ahead and give me 64 of these just go ahead and spam those real quick give me some money just to show you that it's still working and we should be there all right now let's go ahead and click on this guy again grab that and now i've ranked up to O oh, from and or from what was that before i don't remember i was at something before but now i'm at O, oh, and the next rank costs what was it eight hundred dollars so if i go ahead just give me one of these drop it now if I go ahead and grab this now I'm rank P and I have eleven dollars left huh. all right and yeah all right you guys if you did enjoy today's video make sure to hit that like button down below uh, leave any comments if you have any questions let me know how the video went and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one peace out